Jarvi, attracting more attention to your account. In this tutorial, we'll be talking about a couple of techniques and features Jarvi has that will allow you to engage even more with other people that can become your clients. We will go through the like, comment, and contact modules. Let's do this for a Facebook profile as it has the most options. If you understand how this works, you'll be able to use the same tools on any other platform without any problems. The Comment and Like module. On the Tools page, click on a Facebook profile and you will be taken to the Tools page for that profile. Go to the Comment and Like module. Facebook is the only platform that has these two modules combined as they are easier to use. The rest of the platforms have them separated. You can either comment or like separately or at the same time. Getting back to our Facebook profile, you'll notice this tool has three subtabs. Settings. This is where you will set the delay between operations, criteria to choose the posts to like and comment on, the keywords to find posts to like and comment on, and the actual comments that it will do. Sources. This is where you tell Jarvi what to comment on. As you can see, there are multiple options here. Results. Here you will see the comment or like results after they are finished. Now, let's go back to the Settings tab and see what we need to do there. This tab is split into several sections that group the main configurations that you need to do. They are as follows. Run timers. You should be familiar with this one already. You set the delay between the operations here, the time when it should run, and the days of the week you want it to operate. Comment and like limits. This is where you configure how many maximum comments or likes you want to do each day. It's an interval, so it will choose a random number each day that is between the minimum and maximum you set here. You can choose to also like some comments after liking a post, and you can set on how many posts from the same person it should comment or like each day. Comment and like settings. Using these settings, you can target the exact posts that you need. They're quite self-explanatory. Using the first two, you can choose how old the posts are, and if you comment with a photo, it will also alter the image so it looks unique every time. Add comment or like action. This is where you add the actions Jarvi does. They are either comments or likes and they will be done on the sources you provide in the next tab. If you want to do a like action, just enter the keywords in the provided field, like cars, bikes, trucks, and click on the like by keyword. The action will be added in the below table and it will say it's a like action. If you want to do a comment action, you need to enter both the keywords for which it will find the posts and the actual comments it will do on those posts. Let's do one now. Say, cats, dogs, pets. And as a comment, I just love pets. And click on Comment by Keyword. As you can see, another action was added to the table below, this time a comment one. If you want, you can edit it right here. You can add as many actions as you want here. Each time the tool runs, it will randomly pick one and do it. Before you start it, though, we also need to add sources, so let's go to the Sources tab. You have multiple sources at your disposal. You can do the comment and like actions on the following types of posts. Page posts, group posts, posts from searches, wall posts, and on specific posts, you add manually. Finally, on the Results tab, you will see listed all the different actions it did for you. After both the settings and sources are ready, Remember to go back to the Settings tab and start the tool. This is everything about this tool. As you can see, it's not that hard. Configure a few settings, enter the sources, and start it. Keep in mind not to overdo it. Being an automated tool, it is easy to set it too fast, and if you do that, you can get in trouble. Start with a few actions per day and increase it over time. The Contact Module Using the contact module for Facebook, you will be able to extract people from groups, events, friends, searches, and so on, and either send them a friend request or a message. 
By doing this, you can find people that are interested in your products or offers and get in touch with them. Let's see how this works. Just go to the Contact tab, and you will notice it has six sub-tabs. The other platforms will have far less. Facebook, having a lot of possible marketing angles, we provided you with everything you might need to succeed. Let's talk about what each sub-tab does. Extract Member This is the first tab you will use here. Basically, extract people from different places so you can use them later as you wish. Auto Extract A variation of the first tab, it will continue to extract new people from groups and friends from Facebook profiles automatically. Use Members This is where you will tell Jarvie what to do with the extracted people, be it send a friend request or a message. Friend Requests From the previous tab, members will be sent here in order to actually make the friend request. You also have different settings to make sure you don't do too many of them. Auto Reply to New Messages A small tool that you can set up so it automatically replies to all your incoming messages. Send Message From the Use Members tab, people will be sent here to actually send the messages. Now, let's see how we can actually send some friend requests and some messages to people from a group. First of all, go to the Extract Members tab. Here you will have to enter the URL of a Facebook group and click on Extract Users. As soon as this finishes in the table below, you will see it finished and how many members it extracted. You can see how much time the page scrolls. The more you set here, the more people it will extract. Let's do a test for 30 seconds in this group and hit Extract. Now that we extracted some people, we need to go to the Use Members tab and tell Jarvie how to use them. You will see all the extracted members in the top table. You need to select the ones you want to use from the table. You can select them all, or just some. After that, you will choose one of the two options below. Send Friend Request. You have a few settings here. Choose what fits you best, and when ready, click on Send. The members will be sent to the Friend Requests tab above, and you can continue from there. Add messages to selected users. If you want to send messages to the people you selected, you will need to first enter the message here. Ideally, spin the message so it is unique for everyone and not send the same message to all the people. Then, configure the settings you want for the messages and click on Add to Send Message List. The members will be sent to the Send Messages tab and you will continue from there. Let's see now, in case you want to send friend requests, how this looks like. As soon as you get to this tab, you will see it looks like any other tool. It has three sections. Settings. Here you will configure the delay between friend requests, how many to send per day, and if they should be cancelled after some time. You also have the time when you want the tool to execute and in which days. Pending friend requests. This is where the people you sent from the Use Members tab will show up, and it's the pending list of people waiting to receive a friend request. Results. It will show the people that Jarvie successfully invited to be your friends. In case you wanted to send messages to people, head over to the Send Messages tab and you will notice the same layout as in the previous tab, with the exception that this one sends messages. It is split into three sections as well. Settings, where you configure the delay between the messages it sends, how many messages to send per day, and a few other useful settings. Pending send message, the list of people waiting to get a message that you sent from the Use Members tab to send friend requests or messages. Conclusions, now you know how to interact with other people automatically through Jarvi and get their attention. By doing this, you have the chance of promoting your service or business to the exact people that would need it the most. For the best results, targeting the correct sources is a very important step, so don't do it in a hurry. Even the best entrepreneurs need help. Get Jarvi, your loyal assistant.